Katie with Panagrams and Digital Heat Effects, and today I'm going to show you how to unbox and install your brand new 920WT white toner laser printer. Your new Oki printer will be delivered to your door, but please note that the crated printer will not fit through a standard size door, so please have a sheltered outdoor area ready for delivery. Once it is uncrated and unpacked, the printer on a stand will fit through a standard door. When you receive your printer, do an immediate cursory check to make sure that there is no visible damage to the box or crate. The first step in uncrating your printer is to cut these yellow cable ties and remove these plastic handles from all four sides of the box. For the next couple of steps, you're going to need two people. So I have my friend Larry here. He's going to help me remove the box. Just lift from opposite handles to take the cover off the top. Now we can set this aside. Once you open the top of your box, this is what you should see inside. We have cyan, yellow, magenta, and white toners. We have this that goes on the top of your printer. We will never use this again, so you can put that aside. We have the power cord. Please note that this printer does not come with a connecting cable to your computer, so you will need to get that. These black bags are for uh, getting rid of used toners and drums. These are, these are little, um, these go on new fusers. So until you get a new fuser, you won't need these. You can set them aside. And this is the most important thing, I think. This is the guide for how you install your printer. And here is the install CD. You can simply lift this off and put it to the side to continue unpacking your printer. Remove all four of these cardboard corners so you're able to access the styrofoam inserts. We're going to remove the top ones. And then we're going to cut open the plastic bag so we're able to remove the printer. Please note that when you lift this, you do need two people and use the hand holds located on either side of the printer. Before you remove the printer from the crate and put it on something, please make sure that whatever desk, rolling cart, or crate you are going to put it on is rated for a heavy printer. This printer weighs over 160 pounds. Due to the handle placement, it is easiest if one person stands directly in front of the printer and one person stands in the back. Now that we've uncrated the printer and put it on a stand, it will fit through a standard size door and we can move it inside. The next step is to remove all these pieces of blue tape all around the printer. Make sure you get all of them before moving on to your next step. Your very last blue piece of tape is located under this front cover on top of the waste toner box. Be sure to remove it. While creating this video, even I am following these instructions that come on the very top of your package once you open the top of the box. Be sure to consult these during every step just to make sure you've gotten everything. Once you've opened the top of your printer, you can remove each of these tall plastic orange packing pieces. And then you want to remove the protective film from each drum. Please note that there are places to put your hands here and you pull after removing this tape. Once that's done, you can then remove these plastic pieces and pull the security tab from each of the image drums. Before turning your printer on, we want to make sure that we've removed this orange packing piece from the paper cassette and installed some regular paper to eliminate an error signal. Once you've removed all the orange packing material from your image drums, you can start to unpack the toners. Each one comes in its own separate plastic bag, which we are going to cut it out of. And then you are going to need to remove this white plastic tape.
set it into the image drum and lock it in place. Please make sure that each of the colors coordinates with the color on the image drum and the sticker on each toner. This is how your printer should look with all your toners installed. We can close the lid and move on to the next step. Once we have all the packaging material removed, we need to open up both side trays. Please see the following diagram for how much room you're actually going to need on either side of your printer. The last step is to connect your printer to power. Here's the power cable. Do not turn your printer on until the installation CD tells you to. That way it will find new hardware. This is the USB cable. This is USB A to USB B, and that goes right here. This end goes to your computer, or you can network your printer using a network cable, and that goes in the one that looks like a phone jack. Now you're all ready to go. This is Katie with Panagrams and Digital Heat Effects. And this has been unboxing your 920WT. Now let's move on to installing the software to your computer.